Hello YouTube, it's your boy Rashawn Bubba White RB Dells back at it again with another video. Uh, first of all, I want to wish you guys a happy Martin Luther King Day. Um, I know a lot of kids and a lot of adults got this day off from work and from school. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying your day off and let's get into today's video. So today I wanted to talk about uh, Martin Luther King's Jr.'s legacy. Specifically, I wanted to talk about whether Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream has come true. I specifically wanted to focus on one point in his I Have a Dream speech. Um, my favorite quote from that speech is he says, He says, I have a dream that one day my four little children will live in a nation where they are not judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Um, this quote really resonated with me. And for this video, I specifically wanted to focus on that quote specifically. Um, so if we think about it, really, um, are we living in a nation where people aren't judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Secondary question is, is that part of Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream, has that part been fulfilled? And in my opinion, if I were to answer that question, if someone were to come up to me on the street and ask me that question, I would say no. No, frankly, because I don't think, going back to the question, I don't think we are living in a, yet living in a world where one is not judged by the color of their skin. Um, we are definitely still living in a world where people do look at the color of someone's skin and takes that into consideration when, you know, making their, I don't want to say judgment, but when um, deciding like who that person is, what kind of person they are, etc. And the color of someone's skin basically plays uh, different roles in different areas, such as, you know, the job market, for example. You know, a black person going into, you know, applying to work for a white business, you know, that white business, you know, they're going to pay, they're definitely looking at, you know, the fact that you're a colored person, you know, um, you know, especially with social media, for example. So let's go into social media now. You know, they paint, social media has painted many pictures of black people and white people. You know, people take a look at that and, you know, they form their assumptions and they form their judgments. And those judgments are based off of the color of individual skin. So, frankly, I do not think we are yet in a nation where people are not judged by the color of their skin. Frankly, not all people think like this. Um, I'm sure there are people who don't look at skin color, don't judge people by their skin color or things like that. But there are definitely still individuals and there are definitely still areas of the world where people are, especially in the United States, there are definitely still areas where people are judged by the color of their skin. And frankly, one reason is by that is by that is due to how a certain ethnicity and a certain race is, you know, portrayed in the media. That's definitely um, one way that I look at it. And I definitely think that's one effect of why people, you know, judge people by their color of skin, at least nowadays in today's time. Um, you know, like I said before, black people aren't, you know, painted the best when it comes to, you know, news outlets, social media, and other forms of visual entertainment. So, if someone were to come up to me, you know, 
and ask me, has Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream be fulfilled, been fulfilled? I would have to say no. It's definitely made, you know, a lot of progress. Um, it's definitely way better than it was uh, back in the civil, during the time of the Civil Rights Movement. However, there are still a lot of things wrong with today's society. There are still a lot of things wrong with the position of a black person in America. And um, I feel as if we're getting, we're maybe getting to that point, but I feel as if that we still have a lot of things to work on. Um, we can definitely see, you know, in today that there are still many instances, you know, where race does come up as an issue. Um, in my last video, I talked about the uh, whole H&M hoodie controversy thing with the coolest monkey in the jungle, that sort of thing. Um, that was a, that turned out to be a race issue. People turned that into a race issue. And, you know, there's been other instances like that. So based on those instances, we can definitely say that, you know, we are definitely not at a point where we want to be yet. Um, we are definitely making progress, but there are still, I don't want to call them setbacks, but I, there are still instances that show otherwise, that we are not making any progress at all. And, um, you know, I just, it's just another video of me giving my opinion, um, you know, thinking about Martin Luther King Day, you know, this made me think of this, this made me think, you know, Everyone remembers Martin Luther King for his I Have a Dream speech. But if we really were to take a look, you know, and really sit down and think about it, I had to sit down and think about it. Has Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream come true? Has it been fulfilled? Um, it's definitely on its way to being fulfilled. Um, but there are still instances that show otherwise. And then there are still things that we need to work on and there's still things that we need to work on in terms of the position of a black individual in the United States of America. Now, will we ever reach a point where one isn't judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character? Um, that is a whole other question in itself. Um, and but right now, I believe that, you know, people are still, there are people who are still judging people based on the color of their skin and not by the content of their character. So that's just, you know, what I think of that. And um, I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know how I feel about that. If you guys want to, you know, let me know how you guys feel about that. You know, you can let me know down in the comments. Um, be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe. I will definitely be doing more videos like this. Um, my channel is just getting started. I have about uh, 12 subscribers right now. Thank you to those who have already subscribed. I'll be dropping videos uh, every Tuesday. I'll try to do every Tuesday, every week, because um, that's what fits into my schedule right now. And um, like I said, thank you guys for describing. Thanks to all those who watch this video. If you like it, comment down below like and subscribe to the channel because there will definitely be more videos like this um there will be many many other videos too i'm planning on taking this channel in different directions i don't want to just stick to one niche but rather i want to fill many niches so i reach many different kinds of people and um like i said i hope you guys like the video um if you let me want to let me know Again, you want to let me know what you think about the whole situation? Comment below. I'll reply back to all the comments. We can have a conversation about it. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.